Hello, everyone. Today's poem is "Zheng Feng," Zi Yi, a Zheng Wind from the Book of Songs. Zi Yi is the first poem in Zheng Wind, and、uh, Zheng Wind is a quite special state wind, as Confucius put it, "Zheng Sheng Yin," the voices of the Zheng state is too much, is too excessive. The character Yin today it means erotic, so a lot of people take the words from the Confucius、uh, that as that the voices, the poems from the Zheng state is erotic. But anyhow, in ninety nine percent of the cases, the character Yin means too much, means too. Uh, excessive in the Confucius time. So,、uh, in these circumstances,、uh, Confucius think the voices, the points from the Zheng state is too much, is too excessive. So, very likely the the poems, the sound is too excessive, to, and with a lot of the repeating words. Uh, or it repeating the paragraphs again and again, and another possible meaning is、uh, the quantity in the Zheng Wind is too much.、Uh, the poems in the Zheng Wind is twenty one poems, but normally the poems in other state wind is around ten poems. And、uh, the other most quantity state wind is Bay Wind.、Uh, it's with nineteen poems, but that's also quite special. So just keep in mind, the Zheng Wind and Bay Wind is something quite special. They have the most quantity poems in that state winds, even much more compared to the. Decent wind, the Zhou Nan, the Zhou South, and the Shao Nan, Shao Shao South, which was treated was the most decent wind, which was the、uh, Orthodox state wind.、Uh, the Zhou Nan, the Zhou South has Zhou wind has eleven points, and the Shao Nan has fourteen points. So、uh, you can see. Uh, from the point of the quantities in a state wind, Zheng wind is also quite special, and、uh, possibly the Confucius,、uh, the word of Confucius, Zheng Sheng Yin,、uh, have the possibility、uh, referring to the quantity of the Zheng wind. Zheng wind is quite special for another. Written the poems were written in the East Zhou Dynasty, or some、uh, at most at the end of the West Zhou Dynasty. So this is quite like another two state wind, the Qin wind and Qin wind. So basically, the state wind are were written in the East Zhou Dynasty. But these three state winds, basically, they started、uh, since the East Zhou Dynasty, when the capital moved from the Xi'an city today to Luoyang city today. The king's power lost. The state's lord became more powerful, and、uh, they had to behave to survive. All by themselves. So, which means they either they don't listen to the order from the king, but from an, another angle, they had to protect themselves all by themselves, not by the king anymore. All the moral standards, all the laws, are in a quite strong doubt by. Everyone, and、uh, the the normal people,、uh, I mean the noble people, they 
live in a time of uncertainty. So there is a more focus on the personal feelings rather on the kingdom, on the common interest of the country. So in a very well managed time, the social level are fixed. Everything has a rule or has its own way,、uh, actually, which was enforced by the moral standards, by the law, by the military power of the king. But at this circumstance, all the enforcements、uh, was lost. The people are more focused on personal and、uh, short-term things, and.、Uh, It's a time of struggling, of course. That could be the main reason、uh, why there is so many poems about love between a man and a woman.、Uh, there are some love poems、uh, in the decent wind, but the focal point is quite different from those poems. Written in the East Zhou Dynasty,、uh, the in the decent wind, the focal point is the family. So with the love, with the new family, they could have、uh, their descendants, the sons, the daughters. So the sons and daughters,、uh, everything will ensure their family, ensure their. Uh, states ensure their kingdom to last forever,、uh, but the poems in the Zheng Wind,、uh, the love is only it's just like the love we、uh, perceive today. It's only just between a man and a woman, and、uh, it's about nothing else. So it's quite easy for today's people to、uh, appreciate it. To Understand it. So let's see, and let's start from the、uh, this very first poem. Ziyi, the black suit. So the black suit is the suit for a senior officer. So、uh, the with the title we know very clearly is about a senior officer and、uh, something associated with his. Uh, suit with his dress. Ziyi, ziyi zhi yi xi, bi, yu you gai wei xi. Shi zi zhi guan xi, huan, yu shou zi zhi can xi. So you can see from the wording, the sentence structure is so different from the previous. Statement. First thing first, it's not restricted to the four-character sentence, and it has much more long sentences, and it has a single character、uh, as a sentence, B and Huan. So you can see many things changed when the time entered to the East. Zhou Dynasty, and、uh, especially the Zheng State was a total brand new state in the East Zhou Dynasty. So in the West Zhou Dynasty, they are a state within the capital area,、uh, like show in the map. And、uh, when the barbarian invaded the capital. The king, together with the、uh, Zheng State Lord, was killed, and they had to flee and to the east part of China, to this place, Xinzheng.、Uh, so that's why the city Zhengzhou came from. So when they flee to this place,、uh, actually there is roughly ten state.、Uh, In this area, they just destroyed、uh, those ten states and、uh, take the land of that ten states、uh, 
to build their new town, their new state here. So the town was named as Xinzheng, the new Zheng state, or the new Zheng uh, city. Migration to a foreign land, build a new state, build their new city, their new home. Uh, you can imagine it's it should be a very complicated process. It cost so much efforts and, uh, of course, so much lives. And uh, still, the people are not not quite stable, or they are not so feel so comfort with the new place. Just imagine, uh, everything ev is new. The neighborhood, the land, uh, even the people. Of course, there's a lot of the local peoples. They need to get familiar with them, and they need to conquer them and uh, to <coughs> rule over them. So that's the big picture when we reading the poems in Zhang Wind, uh, as well as this poem, uh, with a very dynamic and uh, somewhat dangerous situation. People are more focused on their uh, personal feelings, uh, the love between the husband and wife, uh, the parents and the son. So they are more, more disturbed and more short-term. The first sentence, 自一之一兮，必，余又改为兮。The black suit went to the grand ceremony to go to the state court. The black suit became ragged, became damaged, and thus I just change and repair the ragged. Uh, close, make it good again. Uh, so this is the first sentence, and the second sentence is, 世子之管兮，还于受子之灿兮 And then you went to your uh, state court. You went to your uh, office, and uh, later you came back. 还 you later you came back. I gave back the black suit to you with a very beautiful, very nice uh, suit. So it was repaired, right? Uh, so uh, just imagine there's two people in this uh, first paragraph. Uh, the the Title or the term "zi" the black suit is not referring to the suit. Actually, it's the alternative to the husband. So the husband is a senior officer. So uh, that's why he 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 should wear a black suit. So he went to the grand ceremony. So which means he went to the most important state affairs. To the most important state、uh, ceremonies, so with so many tasks, his black suit was rugged, was damaged with holes, maybe, and yu、uh, yu means I. So this refers to the wife. So the, because、uh, it's very clear that in the Asian China that. The wife's duty, one of the wife's duty, is to、uh, sewing the clothes, to、um, make the clothes for the whole family. No matter it's a noble family or even it's the king's family, the wife has the、uh, duty to make the clothes. So, 余又改为兮 is quite clear in these circumstances that the wife、uh, saw this ragged clothes. Uh, with love, he make the、uh, take a lot of efforts to make the rugged clothes、uh, good again. So may maybe to、uh, fill the hole, to to sewing some of the、uh, rugged place. And、uh, at the moment, 
the husband, or the senior officer, is so busy with the state affairs, with his duties, he went to his office. Guan means the office, the place for the duty. Huan, 余寿子之灿兮 The husband come back. The term Huan means come back. So when the husband come back from his duty, I gave him the clothes with a very splendid uh, out uh, appearance. So I, which means I make repair the clothes uh, to a, the perfect level that it just like a new clothes. It looks splendid. The states went are、uh, always quite simple from the surface, from the wording. So there's no much difficulty on in this first paragraph. So the hard part is what are the poem the state went telling. So、uh, with a little bit think over, it's quite obvious that in the first paragraph, the husband is a very very Diligent senior officer,、uh, by the clothes, the black suit. We know he's a senior officer, and、uh, by the term, his wife call him Zi, uh, 世子之管 Zi, uh, 是余寿子 Zi. So this is a term only dedicated for the noble, and、uh, the husband could even be the. State lord as well, so there is a saying、uh, that this poem is about one of the state lord of the Zhang State. So that's possible.、Uh, so, but、uh, keep in mind, the husband is a senior officer. He's a senior noble、uh, in the Zhang State, and he's quite diligent. So he、uh, wear out his Black suit during his in his duty, so so that reflect he's quite、uh, diligent, right? And、uh, on the other hand, her、uh, his hus his wife,、uh, the wife is also quite、uh, diligent, is very capable on her duty when she perceive. Black suit is ragged. She make it good again in quite a short period. The second and the third paragraph basically are identical with the first paragraph, but give us a little bit more scenario by changing one or two characters. So the second paragraph, 之一之好兮 The black suit went to his hobby. How is hobby? And、uh, B. The black suit was rugged again. Was damaged again. So the hobby、uh, for a noble person could be many things: play music,、uh, to study, to hunting, and、uh, that's. Is also、uh, very high valued by the culture, by the culture of the Zhou Dynasty. So that's a very, very decent hobby. The next sentence, 余又改造兮 basically is the meaning is identical to the first paragraph. The first paragraph is 余又改为兮改为改造 is identical,、uh, which means to change and repair. To, uh, to make something.、Uh, the third paragraph, 之一之兮兮 the black suit went to the grand dinner. 兮 is dinner. The character 兮 means a sheet of blanket,、uh, a carpet on the ground. That's the、uh, way the Zhou people enjoy their A big dining party. So people sitting 
or kneeling on the、uh, carpet, and a small table was put in front of him、uh, with food and wines. And、uh, finally, the term "the sheet of carpet" becomes the alternative name of a big dinner party, and、uh, that some of the Uh, characters still keep that meaning. 酒席 the wine and sheet. So that word means a big drinking dining party. It doesn't refers to the sheet of that carpet. It means the dining party, a big、uh, dining event. So, 之一之席席 means. The black suit. My husband went to the grand dining party. So、uh, that's also a very, very important、uh, duty or social responsibility for the、uh, Zhou noble persons. We have many poems about dining parties and drinking parties. So that's the social value. That's also a very important. Uh, duty for the noble person, and、uh, so the first paragraph, second paragraph, and third paragraph basically gave us a overview of this、uh, senior officer, or maybe the state lord. He was so busy with his duties, he went to the state court, he went、uh, to the hunting, to the hobbies, he went to the dining. Parties, so that's all the decent、uh, activities or the duties for a Joe noble person that was fully encouraged. So basically, that means he was so busy with all kinds of his duties, and which make his black suit ragged, damaged, and the smart, very. A、uh, bright wife always noticed and perceived the、uh, damaged black suit very quickly, and he repaired it with talent very quickly. The traditional explanation for this poem is a little bit different from my explanation by few words, but the meaning of this poem.、Uh, Or the feelings reflected in this poem is not much difference. So that's a sort of the magic when we explain the、uh, classic poems.、Uh, there could be so many arguments、uh, on the wordings, but finally, when we talk about the feelings, the overall feelings of the poem are very likely.、Uh, people have a same conclusion. So the difference, the、uh, explanation wording is, 之一之一兮 So the traditional explanation explain the character 一 as very、uh, suitable. So 之一之一兮 means that black suit is very suitable, and the, that black suit was damaged. So that's the way,、uh, traditional way to explain it. And the second paragraph is、uh, similar. 之一之好兮 the black suit is so wonderful. And the, in the third paragraph, 之一之喜兮 the black suit is so、uh, comfort. 喜 means comfort,、uh, very fit to the. Body. The clothes is very fit to the body. Another difference is the character 之之一之一兮 Though my explanation is this word, this character means go, go to somewhere. And the traditional explanation means off, off something. Now let's review the whole poem together. Basically, the Three paragraphs is almost identical. It's about the same thing that the black suit was resembled his husband, and to repair 
the black suit uh, swiftly with careness and uh, with talent shows the careness uh, shows the talent of the wife uh, who is the poet who write this poem and uh, in the other hand uh, both the couple the husband and the wife they are quite capable they are quite busy with their duty so either way this poem could be treated as a love poem uh, by the wife to he to her husband uh, or either way this poem could be a praise poem to the uh, senior officer to the husband uh, and somewhat to the wife as well because they are both capable they are both diligent they both fulfill their duty perfectly uh, okay that's for today bye bye